welcome to my course on genome editing and engineering. Today we are going to discuss about uh, engineered immune cells for cancer therapy. Uh, according to World Health Organization, cancer or neoplasm or malignant tumor is a large group of diseases that can start in almost any organ or tissue of the body when abnormal cell grow uh, uncontrollably, uh, go beyond their usual boundaries to invade adjoining parts of the body and or spread to other organs. Uh, the process of spreading to other organs is called metastatizing and is a major cause of death from cancer. Cancer immunotherapy exploits the body's own immune system to fight uh, against uh, the disease. It was designated as an uh, annual scientific breakthrough in 2013 by Science Magazine and has exhibited promising anti-tumor efficacy in recent years. Cancer immunotherapies are categorized as immune checkpoint inhibitors, adopted uh, cell uh, therapies and tumor vaccines. Numerous patients with advanced tumors have benefited from cancer immunotherapy and some have achieved complete uh, remission. Uh, the essential cellular and non-cellular components of the tumor microenvironment is composed of numerous uh, cellular and non-cellular components. Uh, as you can see over here, uh, under the cellular components, we have T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, macrophages, uh, adipocytes, neutrophils, uh, cancer associated fibroblast, cancer cells, NK cells and so on. While uh, on under non-cellular components, we have uh, ECM, the extracellular matrices, IF and gamma, TNF, then various growth factors, then interleukins, uh, chemokines, exosomes, uh, apoptotic uh, bodies and so on. Uh, this tumor microenvironment uh, is uh, very important to understand uh, in from the point of view of various cancer uh, therapies. It has been established that evading immune uh, destruction is one of the characteristics of uh, cancer. Uh, the immune system try to uh, control the cancer and the cancer uh, cells try to avoid uh, that immune uh, protection. Tumor cells can inhibit immune effector cells or cause immune tolerance uh, through the secretion of extrinsic factors affecting the tumor microenvironment. Uh, TME is composed of tumor cells, stromal cells and immune cells and the interaction among these cells affect tumor progression. We have shown you some of the components of these uh, tumor microenvironment and also we will show you uh, some interaction map uh, in, in one of the slides later. Uh, in the tumor microenvironment, macrophages in T cells are the most distorted immune system components. Tumor associated macrophages support tumor genesis and metastasis and inhibit anti tumor responses by releasing EGF, IL 6, TNF, um, MMPs, uh, VEGFA, and so on. In addition, T cells anti tumor activity and metabolic state is disrupted by the immune modulatory cytokines and checkpoint inhibitors present in the tumor microenvironment. Accordingly, a study by Chung et al. on 11 breast cancer cases revealed that the presence of M2 macrophages in the TME was correlated with T cell exhaustion. So, here are a detailed list of the different cell populations in the tumor microenvironment and uh, enlisting their natural function and then their uh, altered or on, uh, new function in the uh, tumor microenvironment and uh, the produce. Uh, substances by these cells uh, are shown here. So, help of T cells if you uh, consider for instance the natural function is THS1 stimulates uh, dendritic and NK cells attracts T lymphocytes. Uh, in the tumor microenvironment TH1 blocked by uh, interleukin 4, 10, uh, TGF beta, TRAG, TH2, M2, TH2 uh, inhibition of TH1 stimulation of M2 population of uh, macrophages. And the uh, uh, produced substance of anti tumor activity you can see here uh, the TNF alpha, uh, interleukin 12, 17, 18, 21, 27, and so on. Uh, similarly, uh, macrophages, their uh, natural functions are uh, destruction, phagocytosis of uh, abnormal cells, and in inducing inflammation. Uh, in, in the uh, tumor microenvironment, uh, the functions uh, altered to a proto pro tumor inhibition of the inflammatory processes. 
uh, for a detailed uh, uh, discussion on these cell populations, their natural functions and uh, the altered function or novel function in the tumor microenvironment, you can refer to uh, Bojig et al, uh, Biology 2022-11, uh, page number uh, 929 uh, onwards. So, uh, this is an uh, extended list of those various cells. Uh, uh, you, you need to understand that the various cells which are involved in the mic tumor microenvironment already listed earlier uh, have some natural functions uh, when there is no any cancer in the patient, but when cancer occurs they may have altered or novel uh, functions. And this is the network of the intracellular interactions I was referring to in our, our earlier slide. Uh, uh, these various cells uh, they uh, work in interaction with one another in the tumor microenvironment. So, uh, uh, this interaction ultimately uh, determines uh, the progress of the disease or the arrest of the disease. If the immune system wins, uh, the cancer body can take care of the cancer to some extent on its own and if the cancer cells able to break this uh, uh, reaction outcome uh, which results out of the networked interactions, the disease would uh, progress. So, T cell exhaustion and differentiation in uh, tumor microenvironment is an important phenomena. T cell exhaustion is a, a hyporesponsive state of T cells in chronic environment with increased inhibitory receptors, decreased effector cytokines and impaired uh, cytotoxicity. Most T cells in tumor microenvironment are exhausted leading to cancer immune uh, evasion. Naive T cells activate and differentiate into uh, effector T cells. Uh, as you can see here and in secondary uh, lymphoid uh, organs uh, when affected T cells enter the tumor microenvironment they are polarized uh, into exhausted T cells with decrease in effector cytokines uh, and increase in inhibitory uh, receptors. Uh, subsequently exhausted T cells may turn to be defective memory T cells or to be deleted uh, physically. Stimulants present in a tumor microenvironment such as cytokines, uh, chemokines and growth factors determine the polarization of macrophages and their differentiation towards M1 or M2 subtypes. Uh, M1 macrophages are able to uh, number one release pro-inflammatory cytokines such as uh, interleukin 12, IFN gamma, IL1, 23 and INOS. Secondly, re-educate the DC and the CD4 plus T cells. And thirdly, activate CD8 plus T cells and as a result promote an immune response against tumor and prevent tumor progression. In contrast, M2 macrophages and TAM uh, tumor associated macrophages increase angiogenesis and formation of tumor associated fibroblast. These cells attenuate immune responses in the TME and increase tumor uh, progression. The state of TME strongly affects the patient's prognosis. Identifying the mechanisms underlying the tumorogenic characteristics of interactions between immune suppressive cells and tumors can reveal novel therapeutic targets for developing antagonists such as uh, monoclonal antibodies and immunomodulatory drug intervention. Another approach is to fortify already existing immune responses or develop new ones through bypassing their dependence on the robust and intact immune system which becomes non-functional in the tumor microenvironment. Immunotherapy of cancer has recently proven its potential in numerous clinical trials. Let us now discuss about the functional properties and dynamic changes of the immune cells in the tumor microenvironment. So, here is the uh, bloodstream as you can see and this is the uh, tumor microenvironment with various uh, cellular components. Uh, T cells in the peripheral blood uh, infiltrate into tumors and undergo functional state transitions possibly driven by the immunosuppressive microenvironment. Nave CD8 T cells or CD4 TH T helper cells differentiate into traditional states and finally reach exhausted states while resting tracks regulatory T cells transit into suppressive states uh, in the tumors as you can see in the figure. Such state transitions result in a reduction of effector T cells 
Yet an accumulation of exhausted T cells in suppressive tracts, both of which are proven to be proliferating and highly clonally expanded in the tumor micro environment. Myeloid cells may in blood are mainly monocytes, uh, including uh, CD14 uh, plus CD16 uh, plus subsets, while these cells tend to differentiate into macrophages and dendritic cells uh, in tumors. The TME sculpts them to harbor immunosuppressive phenotypes resulting in an accumulation of suppressive TAMs, tumor associated macrophages and CDC2s classical dendritic cells, but a reduction of CD16 plus monocytes and uh, CDC1s. In addition, single cell integration facilitates the identification of novel subsets of CDCs and TAMs in the tumor microenvironment reveals that TAM subtypes tend to co-express M1 and M2 signatures thus inconsistent with the polarization models. NK cells exert cytotoxic functions with perforin and granzymes when activated by the integrated signals of activating and inhibitory receptors, yet they show reduced cell numbers, impaired cytotoxic function and an impeded orchestrating effect for immune responses exemplified by the hampered CDC1 classical dendritic cell recruitment in the TME. The functional defects of NK cells are possibly driven by tumor cells uh, through secreting immunosuppressive factors and expressing ligands of inhibitory receptors while decreasing the expression of ligands of activating receptors to hinder NK activation. B cells play important roles in anti-tumor immunity and immune checkpoint inhibitor treatment as B cells and tertiary lymphatic structures TLSS containing aggregates of immune cells including T cells, B cells and follicular dendritic cell are found to mediate improved responses to immune checkpoint inhibitors, the mechanism of which involves the activation of TFH and B cells. The activated B cells can differentiate not only into plasma B cells to produce antibodies to clear cancer cells, but also into active T cell mediated immune responses by presenting antigens to CD4 T cells that could promote the activation of CD8 uh, T cells. Immune uh, tumor immune evasion in hematological malignancies. As per tumor uh, immunoediting theory, the loss of equilibrium between tumor cell generation and immunity mediated elimination results in tumor development secondary to immune evasion. In hematological malignancies, targeted recognition on tumor cells by cytotoxic T lymphocytes is a central step necessary for effective T cell mediated immunity. Impairing targeted recognition of CTLs on the tumor cells is an important strategy for tumor immune evasion. Immune evasion mechanisms mostly include defective co-stimulation, immune checkpoint blockade, increased suppressive immune cells, tumor altered metabolism, regulated soluble factors and impaired apoptosis related pathways that are not directly related with targeted recognition of CTLs on uh, tumor cells. In cellular immunity, APCs including dendritic cells, macrophages and subsets of B cells, uh, phagocytos and present tumor antigens on the cell surface in an HLA dependent manner providing co-stimulatory signals for priming the T cell response. Upon activation by APCs, CTLs can recognize tumor cells via HLA dependent presentation of tumor antigens on the cell surface resulting in CTL mediated lysis or apoptosis. In hematological malignancies, this process can be impaired contributing to the loss of recognition of CTLs to malignant cells. Immune mediated elimination by cytotoxic T lymphocytes and tumor immune evasion strategies that are dependent on or independent of targeted recognition of CTLs on tumor cells in hematological malignancies. Antigen presenting cells uptake and present tumor antigens on the cell surface in an HLA dependent manner, providing co stimulatory signals for priming the T cell response. Upon activation by APCs, CTLs can recognize the tumor cells with the presentation of tumor antigens in the context of proper metabolism, example sufficient oxygen and glycose. Subsequently, CTLs kill tumor cells by releasing perforin and granzyme B or by expressing fast ligand on the surface, inducing cytolysis or apoptosis. Mechanisms of immune evasion in hematological malignancies. The impaired 
targeted recognition of tumor cells by CTLC is primarily attributed to three mechanisms. Let us discuss the first one, dysfunctional APCs. Generally, dendritic cells can promote anti-tumor immunity via uptake and presentation of altered self-antigens or new antigens from malignant cells. However, dendritic cells in hematological malignancies can be decreased in quantity and quality by tumor cells or other components of tumor microenvironment. Tumor progression related soluble factors uh, like psychooxygenases 2, COX2, prostaglandin E2, PGE2, transforming growth factors beta, TGF beta and vascular endothelial growth factor VZF can deregulate dendritic cell functions to impair the presentation of tumor antigens interfering with activation of tumor specific CTLs. This results in dysfunction of APCs that indirectly impedes activation of tumor specific CTLs inhibiting T cell mediated elimination by interfering with targeted recognition of CTLs on uh, tumor cells. The second one is the defective antigen presentation of tumor cells. Normally upon priming of APCs, the TCR of activated tumor specific CTLs can recognize peptides derived from tumor antigens in the context of HLA molecules leading to targeted killing of tumor cells. However, in hematological malignancies, the expression of HLA on the surface of tumor cells are downregulated as a result of mutations or deletions in the HLA loci. B cells can present their own uh, idiotypes in an HLA dependent manner. However, structural loss of HLA class 1 and class 2 expression on mutations in HLA class 1 and class 2 loci can cause immune evasion of B cell lymphoma cells. Alternatively, mutations and deletions in the beta 2 microglobulin gene of HLA have been observed in Hodgkin lymphoma. Further down regulation of genes associated with antigen presentation machinery has been described in uh, lymphoma. The third one is the low rate of mutational recognition. A third strategy to escape from targeted recognition of CTLs can be described by the low rates of mutational recognition in hematological malignancies. Short linear peptide epitopes of 9 to 10 and 15 to 18 amino acids long are presented by HLA class 1 and class 2 molecules respectively. Some of these peptide residues mediate HLA binding while others bind to complementary determining region 3 of the TCR inducing T cell activation. Patient T cells activation is not started with self peptides derived from cell proteins. However, both HLA binding and TCR interaction are sensitive to point mutations in tumor cells resulting in even single amino acid substitutions which elicit robust T cell response. The peptides generated as a result of the mutations are called neoantigens and they can elicit effective CTL response and likely play a key role in controlling tumor uh, development. Generation and recognition of neoantigenic uh, peptides. Generation and Recognition of neoantigenic peptides after mutational or structural changes uh, to somatic DNA, uh, changes to coding nucleotide uh, sequence can be generated by non synonymous uh, point mutations, uh, insertions, deletions, events uh, leading to reading frame shifts or large scale structural changes such as chromosomal translocation and uh, gene uh, fusion uh, events as shown in this uh, uh, diagram. When these changes to somatic DNA cause an alteration in amino acid uh, sequence uh, creating a peptide that can be processed and presented in the context of uh, MSC1 or 2 and induce uh, TCR um, activation such a peptide is designated as a uh, neo uh, antigen. So, this is the uh, TCR activation and T cell uh, proliferation. This is the novel peptide and this is the normal peptide and there is no any uh, TCR activation uh, as a outcome. Mutation types uh, derived uh, uh, new antigens. Uh, mutation derived new antigens can be divided into two classes type 1 new antigens and type 2 new antigens. The type 1 new antigens can alter the amino acids in regions that make contact with the TCR normally without changing the anchor residues in relation to HLA molecules. These mutations do not change the binding affinity of the peptides to HLA molecules, but may make the peptides immunogenic. In contrast, type 2 neoantigens are created from the mutations that can generate a new anchor residue promoting the binding of the mutated peptide onto HLA complexes. Upon presentation by tumor cells, both types of neoantigens can be recognized by specific T cells followed by CTL mediated killing of tumor cells. However, subdominant neoantigens that exist in hematologic malignancies cannot be efficiently presented resulting in tumor immune uh, evasion. 
Neo antigen presentations might be also a determinant factor for influencing tumor evasion, although the exact details of these mechanisms remain to be determined. Genome instability is generally a hallmark of tumor cells and can lead to somatic mutations that are entirely absent from the normal human genome across the whole genome wide sequence. In contrast with other tumors such as melanoma and lung cancers, hematological malignancies are 10 to 20 times lower in the frequency of mutations. Multiple myeloma contains about 3000 somatic mutations, while acute myeloid leukemia, acute lymphatic, uh, lymphocytic leukemia and chronic lymphocytic leukemia each contains about 1500 to 2000 mutations. The reduced mutational load in hematological malignancies resulting in reduced neoantigens likely relates to the inactive T cell responses in the context of tumor progression. It was reported that only 0.3 percent to 1.3 percent of mutated peptides induced a CD8 plus T cell response and only 0.5 percent of mutated peptides elicited a CD4 plus T cell response. Mutational load was shown to positively correlate anti-tumor immunity in many cases. Alternative strategies of immune evasion. Uh, alternative strategies of immune evasion involves immune checkpoint and pathways, uh, regulatory soluble factors, suppressive immune cells and tumor altered metabolism uh, and factors promoting escape from immunity mediated surveillance. Immune checkpoints which refer to a number of inhibitory pathways are critical for maintaining self tolerance and modulating the immune response. Tumor cells in uh, hematological malignancies such as uh, multiple myeloma or non-Hodgkin lymphoma, classic Hodgkin lymphoma and uh, myelodysplastic syndrome can escape from the host immune system through immune checkpoint pathways such as cytotoxic T lymphocyte associated protein 4 and programs uh, date 1 pathways PD1. Uh, suppressive immune cells in including regulatory T cells, tumor associated macrophages and myeloid derived suppressor cells can form an inhibitory microenvironment surrounding the tumor cells. These cells can inhibit the response of leukemia specific CTLs to the malignant cells by secreting soluble factors including inhibitory cytokines such as interleukin 4, IL-4, IL-10 and transforming growth factors uh, B as well as chemokines uh, CCL22, CCL17 and CCL5. Additionally, tumor altered metabolisms can shape anti-tumor immunity. For example, in uh, tumor genesis, the derivation of glucose and amino acids caused by tumor growth can impair the proliferation and effective functions of T cells, thereby promoting tumor cell evasion from the immune system. Metabolic enzymes such as uh, indole uh, amine 2, 3 dioxygenase, which can function to deprive arginine and tryptophan uh, from the microenvironment are overexpressed in tumor cells. MDSCs and APCs. Counteracting these critical pathways may be critical in the development of therapeutics for eliciting effective CTL response to uh, tumors. Uh, let us now sum up the immune uh, evasion uh, landscape. Uh, CTL mediated immunity uh, can be suppressed by targeted uh, recognition dependent and targeted recognition independent mechanisms uh, leading to immune evasion in hematological malignancies. Strategies including dysfunctional APCs, defective co-stimulation and impaired antigen presentation uh, represent uh, targeted recognition dependent uh, immune uh, evasion. In contrast, strategies including immune checkpoint pathways, uh, suppressive immune cells, uh, tumor altered uh, metabolism, upregulation, oxygen and glucose. Uh, glycose uh, deprivation and regulatory soluble factors represent a process independent of targeted recognition of CTLs on the tumor cells. Let us now discuss about the cancer immunotherapy. Uh, we have a uh, fair understanding about the tumor microenvironment and how do we do immunotherapy uh, in, uh, with respect to cancer. Uh, immunotherapy aims to boost natural defenses to eliminate malignant cells. Uh, this is a, a monumental breakthrough for cancer treatment and has revolutionized the field of oncology. Although the idea of unleashing the host immune system uh, to eradicate cancer could trace back to a uh, century ago, significant advances have been achieved in recent uh, years in uh, terms of basic and clinical uh, investigations. Multiple cancer types have shown sustained clinical responses to immunotherapy 
although with limited response rates and unclear underlying mechanisms. Immune cells are the cellular basis of immunotherapy. Thus, understanding the immune infiltrates in the TME is the key to improving responsive rates and developing new therapeutic strategies for cancer treatment with uh, immunotherapy. Let us discuss about the historical development uh, of cancer immunotherapy, the various advances made uh, in the last uh, decades uh, since its uh, beginnings in 1890 when Dr. William Colley observed that some cancer patients with uh, erysipelas, a superficial skin infection caused by Streptococcus pyrogenes experience better condition than those without infections. Later it was explained that the immune responses elicited by bacterial infections is responsible for improvement in the cancer, cancer patient. So, it acts as a, a cross protection. Dr. William Colley is often called the father of cancer immunotherapy for his uh, acute observation. Extracts of heat inactivated as pyrogenes and cerecia marsessins termed Colley's toxins were used by Collie to treat patients with cancer and achieved favorable responses in various cancers. In 1909, uh, Paul Ehrlich uh, hypothesized that the human body constantly generates neoplastic cells that are eradicated by the immune system. Uh, Lewis Thomas and Sir Frank McFarlane Barnett independently hypothesized that tumor associated neoantigens are recognized and targeted by the immune system to prevent carcinogenesis in a manner similar to graft rejection which is called cancer immunosurveillance uh, hypothesis. Immunological assisted cancer therapy remained a controversial subject for decades until 1965 when leukemia cells regression of a patient was reported following bone marrow transplantation in response to adopted immune cell response against tumor cells. The phrase adopted immunotherapy has originated uh, from that case. Later it was elucidated that T cells accompanied by natural killer cells had the principal role in that observed uh, phenomena. What are the various immunotherapeutic approaches? Uh, the various immunotherapeutic approaches can be classified into two main categories. Indirect modification of T cells regulatory elements or immunologically active proteins like interference. And secondly, direct ex vivo manipulation and restoration of T cells or implanting engineered universal T cells. Initial cancer immunotherapy trials have been majorly performed by using some antibodies such as epilimumab. Uh, let us discuss about the various immunotherapeutic approaches against cancer. Uh, these approaches can be classified into two main uh, categories. The first one is the indirect modification uh, of T cells regulatory elements or immunologically active proteins like interference. The second falls into direct ex vivo manipulation and restoration of T cells or implanting engineered universal uh, T cells. Initial uh, cancer immunotherapy uh, tri uh, trials have been majorly performed by using some antibodies uh, such as epilimumab, uh, CTL4A targeting antibody, anti-programmed cell date 1 or anti-PD-1, anti-programmed uh, date ligand 1, anti-PDL1 and anti-4-1-BB alongside with the administration of uh, cancer uh, vaccines like uh, trastuzumab, uh, m for advanced HER2 plus breast cancer, NCSDNA E7 vaccine against cervical cancer and uh, atezolizumab for non-small uh, cell lung cancer. Afterwards, the development of novel combinatorial methods exhibited more reliable and efficient anti-tumor responses in uh, comparison with their separate uh, applications. Uh, thank you for your uh, patient hearing. We will continue this uh, discussion in part B uh, of this uh, lecture. Mm -hmm.